Hi, my name is Darren Morissette, and welcome to Huddle Up with Darian. Many of you may know me for the presentations that I've done for Black History Month in February and Women's History Month in March. Today, we will be learning about Juneteenth. Juneteenth is a day that celebrates the end of slavery in the United States. It is also called Freedom Day, Jubilee Day, Liberation Day, and Emancipation Day. In 1863, during the American Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which said slaves were to be free. Two years later, on June 19, 1865, news that slavery was abolished finally reached residents in Galveston, Texas. But you have to remember, there was no Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook back then to relay the news. Former slaves immediately began celebrating with prayer, feasting, song, and dance. It all began in Galveston, Texas. After the first year of freedom, former slaves gathered and wore new clothes they cooked food and they sang songs to showcase their freedom. Every summer, we celebrate July 4th as it marks our independence from Great Britain. Therefore, we shall also celebrate this historic day. Juneteenth is just as important because it marks the day all people were free. And it's not just a holiday for Black people to celebrate, it's a holiday for all people to celebrate. I will be celebrating Juneteenth this year by reading the poem, The Hill We Climb, live on my Instagram. Here's my Instagram name, so make sure you follow me. I will also visit Frugal Bookstore to get some new books to add to my book collection. And I love music, so I'll listen to my favorite artists like Beyonce, Alicia Keys, Andrea Day, and John Legend. And lastly, I'm so excited to go to the Museum of Fine Arts with my little brother for a fun day of activities and programs. You can celebrate Juneteenth by talking about the day with family and friends or consider attending the Boston Globe 2021 Film Festival. You can also educate yourself on social inequities and find ways to help support or shop at Black-owned businesses. Here is a portion of a poem by Maya Angelou, who I recently learned a lot about that I think summarizes the spirit of this holiday. This poem is called Still I Rise. Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean leaping in wide, I rise. Welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise into a daybreak that is wondrously clear. I rise, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the dream and the hope of a slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a bit more than you already did about Juneteenth.